An air conditioner is one of the most energy demanding appliances in the house. Running it at all times is expensive, but I guess many of us can feel that it gets harder and harder to get by without it. So can you use solar power to lower the costs? Hey, I'm Jason, and today we'll talk about how many solar panels you would need for an AC unit. Now, to figure out the amount of solar power to run an AC, we first have to find out its electricity consumption. And it can be pretty tricky. The amount of energy an air conditioner uses depends on its size and type. The bigger the AC unit, the more energy it needs. The small units generally consume from about 500 to 1500 watts. Whole house central air systems can use around 3000 watts. Now, to find the daily energy consumption of any device, normally you would have to multiply the unit's wattage by the estimated working hours. With air conditioners, it gets a bit difficult. When you start it, it needs extra power to get rolling. When there are people and pets in the room, it changes the amount of cooling power that an AC has to use. On the other hand, just maintaining a low temperature and not actively cooling the air requires less electricity than what the nameplate says. Now, to get an estimate of how much an AC unit consumes, some propose multiplying hours in use and power rating as usual, and then halving the result. It's not ideal, but that's the method that I'm going to use to have some numbers to work with. So let's say we have an AC unit that's rated for 1000 watts, and not a big one. And we turn it on every day for six hours. Then it would consume approximately three kilowatt hours of electricity every day. On average, the American household uses about 30 kilowatt hours per day. This small AC unit made 10% of it. And statistics show that cooling the air indeed stands for about 16% of your electric bill. Of course, it will be higher in the summer when it's hot and the number can easily go over 30%. How much does running an AC cost us? Well, the average cost of one kilowatt hour in the US is 17 cents. An AC from our example would add $15 to the bill by the end of the month, but it can easily be more. Let's say that we have a 3000 watt air conditioning system for a house in California and we have to run it at all times during summer. The system would likely require over 35 kilowatt hours every single day. California energy rates are among the highest in the US, about 35 cents per kilowatt hour. This AC would consume over $12 daily. The monthly bill would be over $350. Ha! <laughs> That's tough. How can you avoid paying a fortune for air conditioning? Some try ceiling fans as an alternative. The power consumption is minuscule compared to an AC unit. Maintenance is less expensive and the upfront costs are much lower. Still, ceiling fans don't do as well in extreme heat. They also don't provide air moisturizing, which some air conditioners offer. How feasible is it then to run an AC on solar power to bring the running costs down? How many panels would you need for an air conditioner? Well, now this question also requires a little bit of unpacking. Let's consider the most simple situation. You have a portable room conditioning unit that is rated for a thousand watts and you turn it on only during the daytime. Let's say that solar panels have to at least match the power rating of this AC. If it requires extra power to start it up, well, it can draw from the grid. Because of imperfect irradiance and transfer losses, the production of your solar panels is usually about 25% lower than their power ratings. This means that our panel has to produce 1000 watts plus 25% on top of it, which is 1250 watts of power. You could get three 400 watt panels and there would be enough for a job. So, I mean, it's easy. You take the power rating of an AC, add 25% on top just to be sure, and then see how many panels of around 400 watts you would need. When an AC is not working at its full capacity, the energy from panels can be used elsewhere. Okay, so when solar panels and aircons work together, it's simple. But what if you have to keep this AC on at all times? Well, the three solar panels would keep the aircon running during the day, but at night, well, you'd have to rely on the energy from the grid. Nighttime electricity rates are often lower, so it won't cost as much. But if you don't want to or can't rely on the grid, the solution is a home battery. It has to be large enough, of course, to keep the AC and everything else that you need work at night. In a situation where the work shifts of solar panels and an AC unit don't align and there is a battery in between, you can compare how much electricity an AC will consume in a given time with how many panels would generate this amount in one day. For example, let's say we have a 3000 watt air conditioning system in California. We run it for six hours every day. We expect that it will need about nine to 10 kilowatt hours daily. 
That's the number that we have to get from solar panels. The number of peak sun hours, which is the time panels work at their best, is around 5.6 in California. If we divide 10 kilowatt hours by 5.6 hours and then add 25% to account for the losses, we get around 2,235 watts. This is the power rating of a system that would be able to support an AC system. And you can build it with five 450 watt solar panels. Now there is another interesting scenario that I can think of. Let's say you live in Minnesota and you already have a solar system that covers all of your home needs in winter. Now the summers have got hot, you want to add a small AC unit just for your room. And you wonder if you should add more panels on your roof. So here's the thing. Solar panels produce about 50% more energy in July than they do in January. This means that in summer, your solar system gets a large boost, which is perfect for air conditioning. So if your solar system did a good job in winter, well, then you can safely add a small AC and not worry about the consumption. Now, the numbers that I showed you are, of course, somewhat approximate. Uh, you could argue that I haven't taken in the inefficiencies of equipment into account. An old AC would consume more energy than a new one. When it's really hot, solar panels perform worse. They can lose about 10% of their output on an average summer day. I would say that you don't need to be super precise here. In fact, the situation where you count the number of panels only to run an air conditioning on them is rare. And when you plan a solar system for your home by yourself, you take into account the whole house and its energy needs, and not just an AC unit. I guess it would make sense if you plan an off-grid system for a house. In this case, you don't have bills. So some write down the appliances that they have, figure out their consumption, and then calculate the number of solar panels accordingly. Now, we had a video on how to size a solar system for your home, so I go and suggest you check it out. And with that, it's all from me on this one. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Subscribe and come and check out our A1 Solar Store sometime. I'm Jason, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.